please tell me everything about doing the scene immediately after Dre kills Khalid because I mean, there's just like a million oh things God. happening and there's so much like the expression and the energy and the emotion is just bursting off your face in that scene. You know, it was great. So importantly, I had one of my my friends, an actress name is Monique Coleman. She's been my friend for like 12 years and she knows me and we've been through so many things together. So I needed, I wanted her, somebody who knew me to be on the set that day. Um, I later asked as a producer to ask for a therapist to be on set for every, for everybody, not just actors, not just me, crew, for everybody who needs it. Because, you know, although it's acting, we don't know what can trigger somebody. So wanted to make sure that there was support in that kind of way. Um, and Monique came and she was like grounded. She was just a grounding force for me because, you know, it's acting. And also you give yourself over like you, you, I want to. I want to tell a story fully. So I just wanted to make sure that I was spiritually good with somebody who loves and cares about me, knows me. Um, so that was important. And then, and so she was there that that day. Um, I did not want to be in the same room as Damson, like while while we waited. Like that was also important. Cause I, I love Damson. I think he's a great actor. I think he's a, a great energy, a fun person. But I also think he understood too, because we kind of kept our distance that day. Normally we're like, oh, we're playing. And then this day we kind of just kept our distance from each other. And then the other thing with the energy. Oh, so that shot from was done in one, it was done in one shot, in one, in one take. And I remember it was a big discussion because if any part of it was off, then it would essentially cost us about an hour, maybe 40 minutes to reset to get it. So I remember Donald was talking to the AD and they were discussing it. Like, did, did he want to risk it? You know, did he want to risk losing the time and not getting a shot for this one shot that he really wanted? And then ultimately he decided that he did want to risk it. And he looked at us as the actors and was like, okay, everybody, look, this is, this is what we need. This is how we need it. You know, we have to go through because otherwise we're going to lose time. Um, and I said, I said, consider it done. <laughs> and a then, risk well worth taking. My God, what an effective scene. Yeah. And then I always, I asked Donald, like, what's up with the pie? I don't understand the pie. Like, I really <laughs> didn't understand it, you know, <laughs> but it was like, you know, maybe an insatiable hunger that she has that, you know, was the answer. But again, too, I think that as the creators really wanted it to be like, whatever you, whatever you think it is, then it is. You know what I mean? Like, because even me as an actor, I can't say why Dre did what she did. You know, I could only say that there, I was saying that there's something called repressed memories. And at one point in the series, she tells a story and then you hear the story a different way and you don't know which one is true. And I can't tell anybody which one is true because I think Dre probably suppressed her own memories so much that even I didn't have access to it. <laughs> 